Grammy, and it is collaboration time. And the name of this collaboration is Homeschool Essentials Collaboration 2019. And this collab is being hosted by Ingrid over at Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. Today, I'm going to be answering 10 questions pertaining to homeschool essentials. So if this is something that you're interested in, please make sure to stick around and we will get started. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist because there will be some other YouTubers that will be joining in on this collaboration. And make sure that you check out Ingrid's channel, Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. You will be certainly blessed by her channel. Let's see. So question number one, what are your top three favorite mom things? Kind of sad that I really had to stop and think about that question for a minute. But I would say this time of the year, it's beautiful, it's sunny, it's warm. And my one of my favorite mom things is my balcony, my porch with all of my flowers. It's my favorite place to be this time of year. Um, my second favorite. It's not a thing, it's a time. It's the time that I have really early in the morning before everybody is awake, the time that I can spend um, reading God's word and just reflecting on life in general. Um, yeah, that would probably be my second thing. What is my third thing? Sad, 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 my favorite third mom thing. I guess I'd like time to just, cause I'm an introvert. So I like time just alone. Um, and that's not really a thing either. <laughs> Um, I like to put earbuds in my ears and just kind of worship and, um, listen to Christian music. So yeah, those are my three things. Um, of course, along with, um, my devotional time in the morning is my Bible. Anna and I got this really cool new devotional, um, from a fe fellow YouTuber friend that is so sweet. And I actually started using that today and I really, really am enjoying that. And I'm you will actually be seeing a video of that coming up really soon because I did film the opening and you'll get to see what that Question was. number two, what are the three homeschool must-haves no matter what? I would say my planner. I love my planner. And there will be um, an unboxing and I will show you what my planner is here in the near future also. Um, secondly, my friction pens because they're my planner savers. I love friction pens. And my third thing is sitting over here. Let me see. I can turn it kind of a little bit. Can you see it? Yeah. This right here. It's an electric pencil sharpener. And I have had that pencil sharpener since I homeschooled my adult children. I can't even tell you how old that pencil sharpener is. So yeah, those are my three things. Number three, share a minimum of three new things that will be added to your homeschool this year. Okay. So we added in BJU English and we added in um, Wisdom Kids for our um, Bible study. And there's another curriculum too, and I can't think of it right off the name of off the top of my head. And we're also adding in um, teaching textbooks this year. Okay, question number four, share a minimum of three things you will be changing or removing from your homeschool. Um, removing or changing. I guess if you say adding, adding in the BJU English, because we're going to still stick with the same reading program. And then the same way, like with math, I'm adding in teaching textbooks, but I'm not taking away the math curriculum that we're already using. Um, yeah, there's not really anything that I'm saying, you know what? Oh, we're not doing that anymore. Nothing that I can say that about. Um, it's pretty much going to stay um, the same, some of the curriculum may be a little bit different, but I'm not, there's like not any huge changes that are happening. Okay. So question number five, share three things in your survival homeschool kit. These are de-stressors that will help you survive the day or the week. Okay. So for me, really the thing that helps me survive on a daily basis, regardless of homeschool is my essential oils. I diffuse them. I wear them <laughs> literally topically rollerball or just slap some in my hand and put it on. I also use it sublingually and I ingest it. Um, so, you know, there's many different kinds of oils and I could talk all day about my essential oils, but yeah, those are one of the, my biggest thing in my survival kit, the thing that helps keep me semi able to function normally. 
on a daily basis. Other than that, I really love gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. There's this brand that they sell here in this area that I absolutely love. Um, and I didn't think I would get used to gluten-free anything, but I've gotten so that I really like them. So they're one of my go-to treats. And what would be my third thing? Huh. Well, I don't really know. Isn't that sad? Like, I don't take much time for me. Really, I don't. I have just started reading more regularly. Um, and Karen Kingsbury, I'm on my third novel. And that's unheard of for me. I haven't done much reading at all um, in the last several years, except for reading to Hope, because we do lots of reading alouds with her. But to read for myself now, other than the Bible, I don't usually do even do that. <laughs> okay, question number six. And I was just looking at it, and I'm thinking, well, this won't take me long to answer. Three must read homeschool books. And I think I just told you. I don't read. Not really. Um, except for the Bible. And so that would be my go-to. My number one go-to homeschool help, life help, any kind of help, the Bible. Okay, so question number seven. Three favorite subjects to teach in order. So my first favorite subject to teach would be science. Very excited because we're starting a new science curriculum this year. So um, yeah, I love science. Um, next would be... I'm going to say this year, I'm excited to start the BJU English. Really excited to do that. So that would be my second favorite. And overall, I really enjoy teaching language arts. And third um, would be math. Yeah. And I'm not a big math person, but the curriculum that we've used so far has been pretty cool. And I'm hoping teaching textbooks will even be cooler. On to question number eight. When is the best time for you to do your planning? Oh, Lord. Um, there is no best time for me, seriously. Um, I really am a fly by the seat of my pants type person. I tend, I haven't even started planning for the new school year yet. I haven't even cracked open a book. Um, and we start really soon. We start on August the 5th. And so, um, it's whenever I feel motivated. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm one of those people that work really well under pressure. That's just how I roll. Um, and I do my best under those kinds of circumstances. And so, yeah, there really isn't a best time, a quiet time, but that doesn't happen very often either. So there you have so it. Question number nine, share your favorite planner and supplies. My favorite planner by far is Plum Paper Planner. And I am now starting year three with it. And I absolutely love it. It's just, you can just personalize it and make it yours and it's, completely awesome. And my other favorite supply is friction pens. Love my friction pens. Can never have too many of them. Um, I'd love to get all the different colors. I love to color coordinate my planner and they're erasable. So if, you know, something that I plan doesn't work out, I can erase it and start over again. Okay. So last question, question number 10, share a minimum of three field trips you're planning to do this homeschool year. There again, I'm not a huge plan way in advance person. We tend not even to plan really advance, even as a family. A lot of it is like an impromptu thing. Um, sometimes the night before we'll say, oh, let's take hope here tomorrow or let's do that tomorrow. But I'm going to share with you some things that um, are actually coming up on my channel during the month of August for vlogist. Things that we have done that are included in homeschool because we tend to school year round anyways, and things that I have on my radar that I would like to do with her at some point. So Ocean City, Maryland is coming up really soon for us. Um, we would like to take her to the Dinah Roar Valley theme park in Lake George. We just recently went to the Amounzo Wilder Farm. Um, we have been to the Echo Leahy Center in Burlington, Vermont. Um, and we also toured the Ben and Jerry ice cream factory in uh, Vermont also and we would also like to take a trip to the Thompson Park Zoo and, Con and Conservancy in Watertown New York so for us everything is a major trip we live in an extremely small area so none of these things are places that you can get to in you know I mean they usually end up being all day trips or longer so yeah there you have it 
Okay, everyone, that's a wrap of my home school essentials for the 2019 school year. I hope that you enjoyed this collaboration. Please don't forget to check out the playlist in my description box and also check out Ingrid over at Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. Have a blessed school year and I will talk to you again soon.